Every month, Amazon has over a billion visitors going onto their website trying to buy your product. And because 80% of consumers do not scroll past page one when they're looking for their product, it's in your best interest to find the best keywords that correlate with your product that you're selling on Amazon. And so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the best tools to use inside Helium 10 for keyword research that you can use for your products or to find new potential products to sell. And there's really three main reasons why you wanna be doing keyword research and learning this. One is whenever you're creating a new listing or optimizing your current listing, these are gonna be keywords that you wanna use inside your title, your bullet points, your backend search terms, uh, your description, et cetera. Number two is gonna be for Amazon ads. These are gonna be keywords that you can optimize and use inside of your ads to see which ones perform the best versus not so great. And then number three, you're gonna to wanna to start building keyword lists. And these keyword lists, can be used inside a few tools. One of them is gonna be called Keyword Tracker, meaning you could track where your product is ranking for specific keywords on Amazon to see if you're on page one or page two or page three. The second tool is something called Index Checker, which helps you see if specific keywords are actually correlated with your product or not, or if your product is correlated with the wrong keywords. And then the third thing is gonna be for the listing builder, which goes into when you create your product listing. So overall, this is something that you wanna to start to learn. And like I said, the tools I'm gonna be showing you inside Helium 10 will show you how to find the best keywords to rank for and the best keywords to use for your product. Real quick, my name is Martin Keller. This is a brand new channel. Do me a huge favor and hit the like button and subscribe. And if just one person subscribes to my channel from this video, I will continue to post about how to help you make more money on Amazon every week. Let's dive in. Real quick, if you're wanting to learn more about how to find a profitable product to sell on Amazon or how to get started if you're brand new, I have a free guide that I'll link down below. It is the Amazon FBA product research guide. It is a step-by-step -step guide on how to find profitable products to sell on Amazon. Products that are gonna achieve a good profit margin and that are gonna be in consistent demand throughout the year. Like, and like I said, the guide is free. I'm gonna link it down below in the video description for you. Now to demonstrate how, now to, demonstrate how to do this, I'm gonna be using this product as an example for this video. And this product is a RFID wallet. It's one of those wallets that you can use to essentially protect the information with your cards. So it has like this plastic rim inside of it. Anyways, when you look here on the top left, when I click the Helium 10 tools button, you're gonna see so many tools. My recommendation is uh, do not get distracted. You could probably only use 20% of the tools in here to be incredibly successful on Amazon. But specifically, we're gonna be looking under keyword research section. And in particular, two tools that you're gonna to need to learn how to use, Cerebro and Magnet. Cerebro is essentially a reverse product lookup tool. What it's gonna do is you're gonna use and find any product on Amazon, take it and extract all of the keywords that are being uh, searched for with that product, that are correlated with that product, uh, any kind of keywords that they are popping up for on Amazon, you're gonna see and see exactly what are the best keywords that they're ranking for, that they're uh, trying to optimize for, et cetera. So this is kind of like a competitor intelligence tool. Magnet, on the other hand, is essentially what it sounds like. You're gonna be typing in a specific keyword and seeing all of the other keywords that are gonna be attached or correlated with that keyword. In, other, in any case, we're gonna be saving these keywords onto a list to use at a later date. So for Cerebro, I'm gonna pull it up right here. And what we wanna do is copy and paste a specific product on Amazon, an ASIN, which is a Amazon barcode, a unique barcode, Amazon standard identification number essentially. And so I wanna find an example to do this with. So I'm gonna open up on a separate page. This product on Amazon is someone else who's selling this wallet. And I'm gonna click copy ASIN. And I wanna see what are the keywords that this product is ranking for, is showing up for, or organically or sponsored. So we're gonna click get keywords. And essentially we wanna find what are the best keywords that he's using to be searched for with this product in particular. Because if he's being uh, you know, ranked for specific keywords organically, that's a good indication to us that we wanna use those keywords as well. Now, when I scroll down, there's gonna be 1600 filtered keywords. That's a lot to go through. So I recommend going to the search volume and taking out all of the keywords under 500 searches a month. And then I'm gonna click apply filters and I'm down to 131, that's a lot better. Next is I'm gonna customize the columns and only uh, search for keywords 
that or search for the columns that have these numbers so organic rank cerebral iq score search volume trend uh the other stuff is not very very important to me right now and then i'm going to drag over search volume to the high to the uh, very left because that's the most important thing i'm looking for right now so if i rank from the highest to the lowest we could see that you know there's credit card holder money clip for men etc but if you look closely he's organically ranked for a few of these keywords and essentially, if you want more people to find and buy your product, you're going to be needing to rank for products that are correlated with your, or you're going to be needing to rank for keywords that are correlated with your product and have high demand. All right. So Slim Wallet, Men's Wallet Slim, uh, that's good. RFID blocking card, that's very correlated with uh, my product. And I really like that. So I'm going to click the, that one. Um, let's see. Card case, money clip card holder. These are pretty generic, so I don't really like those as much. Um, RFID card holder. Like I, I would rather be on page one for these very specific keywords, uh, RFID card holder or um, RFID blocking card. I would rather be on page one for those kinds of keywords than uh, just for wallet because um, my product is a little bit more niche than just a generic wallet. So let's say if we wanna use those keywords, what we can do is add them to a list. We're gonna create a new folder and uh, let's create a new folder, RFID wallet, okay? So those are good, good keywords to use. And then if we wanna do another thing I recommend doing is uh, my favorite keyword on here is gonna be RFID blocking card. So what we could do is click that arrow and this is more of a card, it's not really wallet, so I'm gonna pass on that. How about RFID wallet? I bet we could find other products similar to this one that essentially could be ranking even better for other keywords that I did not even know about originally. And I can add them onto my list. And so if I go on here, what I can actually do. So when I start scrolling down here, I see other RFID wallets that have probably really good keywords as well. And so I will open up the Helium 10 extension and open up X-Ray. And essentially what it's gonna do is show me the revenue, the numbers, all of the information I wanna see for these particular products, but as well as we can open up Cerebro while on this tool to see what keywords are ranking well for these products. So I usually like to find products that have good revenue and a reasonable amount of reviews. Uh, in comparison to the others. And so for example, this 2025 wallet for men RFID blocking wallet, I'm gonna click that one. Uh, how about uh, these three? Those are all killing it, especially this guy who's has $8,600 in revenue and he has 20 only 21 reviews. Okay, so those four products, and then I'm gonna run Cerebro, and then now it's going to find keywords for all four of those products all in one. So we're gonna be pulling up a ton, a ton of keywords um, right now. And once again, we wanna filter through them all over, all over again. We want to take out the ones that are irrelevant from our product, and we want to save the keywords that have high demand, that have low competition. And another way to find keywords that have lower competition, because you can't filter by review count on here, is let's once again filter by search volume, and then let's go ahead and number of competing products, the most is let's say like 3000. That's a good number to use. So now we have 9,300 keywords. Once I hit apply filters, we have 391, that's much better. Once again, let's go ahead and rank by highest search volume down to the lowest. And as I see on here, there are other good keywords that I didn't find before. Ridge wallets for men, um, wallet tracker, some of these are irrelevant and I'm going to uh, keep on searching. We could filter more. The last thing I would do is filter by word count. So we want keywords that have at least two words in it, not keywords that only have one word. And that's gonna break it down even a little more. Why we wanna do that is uh, some of those one word keywords are not even relevant. Maybe it's just the word wallet. But overall, I see keywords on here that are ranking and helping support those other products. So they could rank well for those and so can we. Last thing I would do is actually filter by, um, let's see, 
relative rank from the highest relative rank from the highest to the lowest. Essentially, where they're ranking on page one for, all of these keywords are going to be money, proof wallets, code wallets for men. You know, these keywords that only have 600 searches, 1,000 searches, those add up. So I'm going to click all of those, add to my list, scroll down to RFID wallet, and add those on there. Okay. That is how you can start by using the Cerebro tool for finding more keywords. Now, let's do the same thing um, with Magnet. And what we're actually going to do is uh, go ahead and find uh, the key, one of these keywords. So like, how about, um, actually, I'm going to go to Magnet and we're going to type in uh, one generic keyword that really represents our product. So I'm going to do RFID wallet. Okay, so we just returned 6,100 filter keywords. Uh, now we can't use 6,100 keywords in our title. And so once again, we want to find the best keywords to use for our product. So I would rank uh, and filter out by once again, search volume and uh, maybe number of competing products. But one different thing I want you to look at uh, that we didn't do before, and let's go ahead and uh, customize these columns. I want to look at Magna IQ score, keyword sales, uh, competing products in CPR. One thing to look at is the Magna IQ score. It's essentially the opportunity score. It's search volume versus number of competing products. So a high score means a high number of searches compared to a number of competitors. A low score means the opposite. So we want to find the highest Magna IQ score. Uh, essentially, what's the, the keyword with the best searches, uh, but the lowest competition? That's what really what we're looking for. And we could see a few random ones, but let's go ahead and filter out. Um, we want to have a Magna IQ score and uh, a uh, search volume, it doesn't have that option here. But I'm gonna say Magna IQ score of, I'm actually gonna rank um, at least 5,000 and then apply those filters. These are all kind of random keywords in my opinion. We wanna find ones that actually have to do with a RFID wallet and that might be kind of hard to uh, continue to do so. Um, worst case scenario, what I would do is actually come back in here and uh, look at this product and see, okay, um, uh, maybe I'll do RFID blocking wallet. And I could use that for the magnet uh, tool. Um, these are all like kind of brand names I'm not necessarily loving. So I'm going to just do... Um, RFID blocking and then get keywords. So what I'm saying is you should be doing this over and over and over with different keywords. All right. Uh, that's what you want to be using these for. And essentially, whenever you do finish and, and you've done this over and over, set a timer, then you want to be using that list. So I'm going to open up my tools here, go to my list and the keywords can be put right into uh, the listing optimizer or the listing builder when you're creating a listing, finding out what are the best key using. You want to start off with the keywords with the highest demand, lowest competition in your title, bullet points, and product description. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I will reply back. Uh, this is a video has helped you out. Hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.